Okay guys, so I have primed my eyes using the P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Room 02. I love this. I'm so excited for this. Right, so before I show you the palette, I have this set of brushes, which came from Cosmic Brushes, obviously, and they are awesome. They've got this in them, and if you tip it upside down, hours of entertainment especially if you're easily pleased like me so i'm going to do my best to only use the brushes that i have here from cosmic brushes however i'm pretty sure i'm going to need to use some different ones for the shimmers but we shall see so the first colour I'm going to head into I'm so excited is Honey which is this beautiful kind of well honey mustard yellow I like the look of it I need to stop watching the brushes because uh, I can't help myself and I'm going to place this on the inner in a part of my crease there's a fair bit of kick up in the pan i'm not worried about that at all but yeah just fyi this is going on beautifully This is a pretty colour. I like this. I, for those of you who don't know, I'm a huge fan of these kind of mustard yellows, honey yellows. I, I love these shades. Beautiful. So obviously this is my first time trying anything from Cosmic Brushes as most of you will know I've got hair on the brush already. Brilliant. Oh, I wonder why I couldn't see properly in that mirror. I haven't taken the plastic sheet off. <laughs> Trust me. Plastic sheet removed. Let's carry on. Aha, that looks so much better. So I was starting to think that my eyesight was getting even worse. So, where was I? Yeah, UK indie brand. And as many of you will know, I go out of my way, firstly to support indie brands, but also to try and support as many UK indie brands as possible, just because that is where obviously I am based, it's easier for me to get hold of them. Um, plus I, I tend to see more people speaking about the uh, US indie brands. Um, I don't know if it's because um, of the people that I watch or what it is but well, this brush is nice and soft and I love the thick sturdy handle I'm always worried with the thin ones I'm gonna snap them plus I think it feels sturdier in the hand so it feels like you have more control that might be just me so the next brush I'm going in with is this one and I am going to go in with Legacy, the blue. Why is my thing flashing? Stop flashing at me. You stopped? Yeah, okay. So, where was I? <laughs> going in to Legacy, the blue. This shade of blue has me excited, so I have high hopes. So let's see. Oh, look at that blue. Okay. This blue is beautiful. Please blend as well as you. Back on. Look at that. It's just pure, beautiful, solid blue. That is going on so pigmented. Oh, I love, I love this so, so much. Oh, look at that. Got just building up the pigment a bit there. I'll do all the blending out in a bit once I've got colour placement. 
wow beautiful and then oh what am i going to go in with now should we go with you i'm just going to go in with this brush kind of a flutter fluffy brush and i am what one am i going in with i'm going in with fantasy which is the purple the deep purple i haven't started really with any idea what i want to do but I think that's always a good thing, especially when you don't know the formula, etc. It's better to just kind of go with what works. Okay, this is nice. And it's packing on beautifully. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. They are a bit kick uppy, but um, the blue and the purple nowhere near as much as the yellow. But that is quite common. Oh, look at that. I'm going to gently stamp it just on the join. We'll do the blending after this. That's so pretty. Um, apologies to any of you that noticed. I did miss new releases and sneak peeks this week. Um, I have been having a really hard time with the pain. So uh, I figured I would much rather use the little energy I have to just do some content using just another indie brand so this was my choice so I'm now going to start looking at the shape wise and I know I'm going to want to bring this under the edge so I'm going to go from kind of where where I'm wanting to take it underneath and going in that line Just following that outwards. Okay. So back with the brush I used for the yellow, I am just I did say what they were called, didn't I? So the yellow is honey, the blue is legacy, and the purple is fantasy. So Back in with honey or the brush that I used. I just want to just ever so gently and softly bring that down and blend it out. That's working beautifully. I like this a lot. Right, and now just taking a tiny bit of honey, I'm just going to just gently wiggle over the join between honey and legacy. Just to create just a, a nice soft blend. Right, so I'm just taking a little bit more of Legacy and I'm just tapping it on the middle and then I'm going to tap my brush off and then just use the edge of that just to wiggle across. And the same this side. I just do that just to stop me taking too much. Okay, and then just blending out the top there. And then taking a bit more of the Legacy on the brush just to wiggle into the purple. 
and then bringing that almost up to the brow again just a, a tiny bit of legacy the blue these brushes are actually really nice the ones I've used so far anyway the three of them this is looking beautiful and then back in with fantasy the purple I'm just taking a tiny bit on there just to kind of pack and then blend and blend and then I'm just going up to where the blue is meeting the purple so I'm just going to pack a bit more just where I want the intensity and then just using the brush just ever so lightly to blend out from that blue and the sides making sure I'm keeping that kind of line with the lower lash line wow so again I'm packing in the middle and then blending So I changed my mind and I am taking everything right up to the brow. I think we're achieving a better shape that way. Like I said, we're just playing. This is less about the look and more about how these shadows perform, how these brushes perform. And I do have to say that so far, so far I am, I'm just having a great time. I'm just going to keep going through, wiggling across um, the lines with the varying brushes, just to, just until I'm happy with how blended everything is. Okay, so before I go on to shimmers, I just want to uh, blend out these edges a bit more. So I'm going to take one of the bigger eye brushes from the set and try not to watch the uh, the black sand. And I'm just going to ever so gently just go over the edges so that I don't have these big harsh lines. Okay. Okay, so I am, um, what am I going to do? I am going to take some NYX Glitter Primer and I'm just going to pop that, I might, yes, I'm just going to pop that across the lids where I want to pop the shimmers. I'm just using, um, this brush is from Makeup by Tammy Cosmetics and I like this for for this purpose and I'm going to be a little bit more precise because I want to create almost like a cut creasy feel and then looking straight ahead to make sure it comes above my lid so that I can see it when my eyes are open I'm just going to really tap that down. Okay, so for shimmers, I am going to go in with some different brushes. This is a flat Morphe brush. And what am I going in with first? So first, I'm going to go in with Bloom. I can't resist this green shimmer. I have to try it. So if we get the brush the right way up. Ooh. it does take a bit to pick it up on the brush but oh look at that 
And I'm taking that most of the way across the lid. I hadn't intended to, but look at that. That has a really nice metallic look to it. Right. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I have my daughter next to me. I'm just going to get her opinion. Right. Tiffany, Boss Babe, Royal Rose. Royal Rose. Royal Rose. Right. So, we are going in with Royal Rose, which is the marbled shimmer down there. And again, this is a little harder to pick up on the brush. This does seem to be a flakier formula, which I don't mind. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah, it's definitely more of a flakier formula. So do be aware of that. This is pretty, really pretty. So I'm going to drag it over the green a bit. I will go back in with the green probably if I need to re-intensify it. Ooh, okay, nice try, a oh, nice try. <laughs> Nice choice, Kira. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> I don't often have Kira in the room with me when I'm filming. <laughs> um. I think this is why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's be serious now. <laughs> so to the other eye oh okay that's really nice I like that so for the outer part of under my eyes I am going to go into fantasy just so that I match up the lower to upper lids I've got hair stuck on my face and and just taking that just up against the lash line and then up into the upper lid so that it's joined. I am having no issues with these shades at all. And then I'm just going to stamp right up against the lash line so I am going to go in and blend this out a little bit I do want I do want that purple to still be quite prominent okay so we've nearly used all the brushes I think there's only one that we're not going to be using and that is uh, this one Okay, um, I'm going to go into Dreamer, which is this really bright pink. And I'm using the kind of little diddy brush. It's quite similar, actually. Where's my little brush from? It's actually quite similar to this Made by Mitchell brush that I love. Hmm. Interesting. So... A little bit in there. Oh, this colour's pretty. Check you can see. Yeah, I like this a lot. Singing again. And I am going to take that right up against that purple going outwards as well. And this is nice. Oh, I might have taken a little bit too much there. It's okay. It's okay. It's going well. Oh, 
I'm liking this. This is nice. Okay, so the brush that we haven't used yet, I'm going to use that to soften these edges down here. So just using this little Morphe M149, I'm going to pop a little bit of the NYX glitter primer. If I don't break everything first. I'm just going to pop a bit of that just on this inner part of my lower lash line here. And then just using the same brush, I am going to I'm going to go in with Boss Babe. Or am I? No. I'm gonna go in with Tiffany. <laughs> if I can make my mind up. Again, it's kind of a wiggle round in it to get it on your brush, but ooh. Yep, this was a good choice. This is so nice. I'm kind of packing a little bit, like up against the lash line a little bit more. That is so pretty. So pretty. Right. And then just using this little tiny Morphe brush, I'm going to pop a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer just on my inner corner here. And then just using that same brush, I am going to go in with... I'm going to go in with Boss Babe. The pink shimmer. And let's see. Ooh. I like this a lot. I'll try using a different brush actually. I'm just using a prepped pencil brush. This is from Sigma. It's one of their more affordable types of brush, line of brush, something like that. And then I'm going to take champagne on that first brush that I used with Boss Babe, the tiny little one. I'm literally just going to stamp that right in the middle of the pink, right on the inner corner here. I'm actually going to take that champagne just on that brush and I'm going to put that up and under the brow bone a bit there. Yeah. Okay, so I am happy with how this is looking, so I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I will be back to show you the finished look and let you know what my first thoughts are on the Royal Rose palette from Cosmic Brushes. So if you would like to see and hear all of that, then uh, don't go anywhere. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'm just going to let you know what else I popped on my face. So eyes first for the winged liner and the line there. I have one of the Artitude Cosmetics Cake It liners, one of the duochrome ones. 
This one is called Compulsion. It is amazing. I love it. And I am also now a brand ambassador for Artitude Cosmetics, which is super exciting. Um, any of you that are not new will know how much I love Artitude Cosmetics and have done from the beginning. So, where are we at now? Mascara. So the mascara is the e.l.f. Keep Your Curl Mascara, black one. That's brilliant, I love it. In my waterline I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Insomniac. Another amazing product. Um, my lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics, they are in the Style Extra. And my cheeks for blush. I have the e.l.f. Bite Size Blush Palette in the shade Guava. I've used both the matte and the blush topper. And for highlighter, I use the Kaleidos Space Age Highlighter Solar Sailor. Is there anything else? Yes, lipstick. <laughs> the lipstick is from She Glam. It's one of these cool ones. And this one is in the shade Purple Charm. I believe my eyesight is not great and the writing on the bottom of this is not great either so yeah my daughter's just checking does that say purple charm yeah yeah purple charm it's beautiful it's really silky I love it so first impressions these brushes these are beautiful absolutely beautiful the only it's not even a downside i get distracted very easily with this because all of them have this kind of black sand stuff look at that reminds me of the lava lamps that were really fashionable when i was a teenager but anyways the actual performance of the brushes i love them and the Royal Rose palette, the packaging is super cute. It looks really kind of posh, expensive. I love the look of the packaging and the colour story, just wow. I love this colour story so much. You do have a couple of more neutral shades, so you could do a more neutral look if you wanted to. Um, I didn't want to and I probably won't use this for a neutral look because yeah I just don't want to um but they performed beautifully they packed on the pigments there they're blendable they blended into each other beautifully I was really impressed with the shade honey um it, it just performed beautifully all of it I have no just no criticisms um the only slight criticism is that the shimmers are you've got to really dig your brush to be able to pick them up with a brush but they do work with a brush so just a minor criticism but yeah i love it i absolutely love it i am super happy to have this in my collection so I think that's about it for me for today so if you've liked this video please do give it a like thumbs up that really helps me out if you are a fan of colorful makeup if you want to discover new indie brands see see some different ones and also I only support cruelty free brands so if that's something that you can vibe with if you like the sound of that then please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell because that way YouTube will notify you when I upload a video. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.